coming with Bob Let's have a few brews We'll have some fun With the bum wine crew So kick your feet up And grab you a beer Cause damn man I'm glad that you're here All right, all right, all right. This is Bum Wine Bob. Welcome to an all new edition of Bum with Bobcat on Premier Podcast Network. And this week we are keeping the Loco train rolling as we are now hitting for Loco October. But we have some extra special treats on tap for you guys here today. But I can't do it all alone here when it comes to the Loco. Joining me once again is the man of the hour, Mr. Roadhouse, is here with me. Roadhouse, man, how you doing? Good evening, sir. I know you're the locomotive on the four loco train. <laughs> no roadhouse is a caboose bringing yeah, up. Yeah, that's it. The, the conductor. We have our uh, our, our four loco hats. Got to get got to get that bucket hat on to 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 get aboard the uh, the train here today. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm back here just swinging the lamp of an empty hey, can. Hey, somebody's got to hold down the fort, and if it's not me, it's got to be you. Because after the last podcast we, where we had a Four Loco marathon, essentially, yeah, out there. So we all want to thank Kevin, Kevin the Poker, once again. The Kevin the Tattoo Man, whatever you want to call him, for coming on the podcast last week. Because if, if you haven't checked out that marathon podcast, be sure to check it out in the podcast archives. Bug with Bobcat on all your favorite podcast apps. And we're putting the call to action out there, people. Get out there. If you're a fan of the show, tell your friends, leave a review, five star, subscribe, like, all the good stuff when it comes to podcasts. Tell your friends about the best of the worst in cheap booze, about Bumming with Bobcat, because it's it's the word of mouth that, that spreads everything, that gets the word, gets that train, that loco train, keeps it rolling even further. If you tell your friends about the podcast these days, so so just want to before we get our drinks flowing here today, wanted to just get that out there to the people because I know there are those loyal bum wine listeners out there. But if you like the podcast, if you don't like the podcast, either either way, <laughs> tell the people to go out there and check it out. Yeah, I mean, you can give that five star review on every podcast. And that helps us uh, reach out and spread the word to more people because, you know, we are doing we are doing the work. You know, we we're got, doing we're doing the Lord's work here. Yeah. As 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 the Reverend Bum Wine Bob likes to tell everybody, because it is kind of fitting with what we're going to cover here today that that the Absolutely. Reverend shows up. So, yes, just do, do help us out. It, any little bit helps to just, you know, share a post, retweet it, repost it. Just spread the links out there. Tell people to check out the podcast if you're a fan of what we do here. Or if you know somebody who's a fan of the bottom shelf, all the bum wine classics, or if they're on the Four Loco train, uh, tell them to come on down. We're a very welcoming bunch here. Always happy to have uh, more and more uh, more members on the on the train here. Yeah, no judgment zone. No judgment, no judgment. But what we will be judging today <laughs> and no it is not a butthole contest as much as <laughs> as we've had these conversations with uh with sarah st Clair and Lindsay Ryder about judging buttholes but it is as we said in the beginning of the show it is for loco october now and for loco fall is already in full swing and while we're not going to do a traditional for loco this week it was time to break out some of the new kids on the block. And we kind of touched on it last time. And everybody knows about the Four Loco pregame. And Roadhouse already gave this one a shot. And I finally got my hands on it. And that is the Four Loco USA pregame. I'm going to bring this out here. Because like I said, this is a, a new kid on the block. Got here the, the Loco... USA pregame here. The 13, yes, yeah, another 13.9, these pregames. I think that's where they got the the hint from. <laughs> Everything here. The four loco shot. 
so, so excited to find this one. I know this this is the new the newest one out there, which I think I guess it was the beginning of the summer, I think, that this officially came out or springtime, uh something like that. But hard to come by. We're gonna try this one out first, and then we might do a little something extra with it in the process. So I think first and foremost, I'm gonna I mean, I know Road has to know you had it before, so you know what we're yeah. what we're dealing with here. But I'm gonna crack this bad boy open and give it a shot just straight up to see what we're dealing with here and how it compares to the loco usa so ooh, it does have that same mm-hmm. same smell yep i'm gonna give this guy a shot here cheers cheers buddy ooh. it's essentially yeah, the same as the loco usa can just without the carbonation correct to go along with it so for people out there that don't know about the pre-games uh probably a handful of years ago i think four loco came out with these and they're essentially just these 200 milliliter bottles of four loco that's just not carbonated it just looks like a little flask you can put in your pocket try to try to sneak it in with you into whatever event you're attending <laughs> as, as kevin said it'd probably be a little bit easier to hide this one than hiding a can of four loco in a towel that you're trying to yeah. sneak into, into a nascar event but but not that, that that's really good I, yeah oh yeah that's definitely a good one here and since we are our own mixologists here uh roadhouse has been in the labs working Working hard day and night trying to find the perfect concoction to use this pregame with. Because if you remember, earlier in the summer, we did crack open the Four Loco Sour Blue Raz pregame and mix that with a Four Loco USA to mix up our own Blue Meanie. Oh, that was, that was good. Which was good. Which was the perfect mix of the the, the Sour Cherry USA and the Sour Blue Raz. But now that was a little loco on loco action there. But Roadhouse has been working hard and kind of stumbled across mixing this into some beers and has been working tirelessly (laughs) day day and night trying to find the right concoction. So what what made you want to give that a shot? Just for, for the hell of it? To... Yeah, well, you know, I've, when I stumbled across the the pregame USA's, and I beat myself up every day, and you know this, I can't remember which store it was at. I bought it, but anyways, I got four bottles of it, and uh, you know, naturally drinking it straight up. I had got a uh, Coors Light and poured it into a glass and drank it down a little bit. Now I just had a couple, just under half of the pregame, so I just went ahead and dumped it in. And I was so pleasantly surprised at how well that changed that flavor that I started, you know, uh, the next three bottles of pregame, just getting the measurements right uh, without using the proper equipment. Yeah, it, it's kind of like making your own Natter Days. It in, was, in absolutely. Sense, yeah. yeah. And I wanted to say it like that, but um, I'm not as smart as you think. <laughs> <laughs> And, and like a like a mini a mini sidewalk slammer. Yes, because we've been we were mixed. We also did the mixture of the four loco in the in the forty ounce, and did did that earlier this summer too. And, and it's a great you know the volume part. You know, not everybody is uh, resilient at drinking a whole forty sidewalk slammer on a weeknight and make it to work the next day. Right. Not right, everybody right. can do that. But on this level, on a 12-ounce can of beer and uh, the small pre-games, well, you can enjoy without the uh, consequences. Right. Or or hopefully lesser, lesser, a lesser sentence you'll get yes. if you <laughs> yeah. if you run into a problem with this. But now Roadhouse tried it out, some Coors Light, Miller Light, d- different variations of seeing, okay, what would be the best beer? to mix it with and we decided 
we would try something different today and we would break out the champagne of beers miller high life yes. and give it a shot with that so we're gonna crack crack a bad boy open here grab one of beers here i have my my nice bottle here to crack open roadhouse brought brought along the the aluminum cans yeah and a glass yeah and a glass because because he did say that the aluminum bottles were the nice companion to, to use because i guess because would you pour it in there then put the cap on and kind of mix it yeah a little bit so yeah that's what i figured but sadly the high life does not reach the the aluminum bottles but we're gonna try i'm gonna try it in a glass bottle here drink it down a little bit and then pour in some pregame roadhouse will pour it out into a glass and do it that way so let's uh let's give it a shot let's crack open these beers give this a shot here drink this down uh, i had to take a big old drink i'm thirsty <sighs> i know you got to get ready well they say what you whistle Exactly. I mean, I, I I was cheating a little bit before because I did. I was sipping on here. I have my my big thirty two ounce can of Miller High Life that I started off with a little bit. So so I already went my whistle amazing. before <laughs> and and two two dollars and nineteen cents for, oh, for this that's guy amazing. here. So that that's a good deal right there. The price for the the big the big oil can. Yeah. SA as they call it there, but like one more sip that there. So, I mean, I'm thinking what you'd probably think about to about the, uh, the little. Yeah. Down to there. the bottom of the ribbon. Yeah. So I mixed mine. I used about half the pregame and uh one 12 ounce beer. It doesn't really change the color very much. It lights it up just a hair. You probably could see better in your bottle. I can this mug. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean the color of this pregame is essentially like a and white, clear color. The beautiful to it. part of the pregame is where it's not carbonated and it pours right into the beer and doesn't Yeah. No yeah, you're not head. getting that extra the extra head, the extra foam like we were getting doing that that sidewalk slam or pouring it into yeah. the forty. And you're hoping as it was filling up it wasn't going to overflow or right. everything. But I think what I'll try to do here, I'm gonna try to the old Corona yeah. dump. Oh, there we go. I just did a little dribble over all over the place, but that's fine. Yeah. It's all right. It's just beer and pregame. Pre-ejaculation. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little too excited over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, sir. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, yeah. Isn't that good? That's good. <laughs> I mean, it's got... It hits all the taste buds in your mouth and makes them tingle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gets all in the all under the tongue and in the back, <laughs> all over all the crevices. Yeah, I think uh, I think we stumbled across something very nice. It is. It is a uh, a welcome treat to have here. Yeah, because like I said, it's not too carbonated, not not too much head, not too much foam in there, just enough. Mini slammers, yeah, definitely. I, I I was debating too. I was like, what if I got the little, the little nips, the little uh, the little pony bottles of the high? Well, yeah. they, they didn't they didn't have they didn't have any. Where I stopped to pick this up, they didn't have any there. But I was like, maybe I'll pick those up and give that a shot, and, and see. So maybe that'll be the next thing to see. But to me, it'll be interesting because it's only the little eight ounce bottles. So I mean, I guess you take just one like like little sip, and then pour in. So it's like the little mini pre gamers, yeah, to, to get that going. Yeah, I, I bought some of those last summer. Um, Ooh, twenty four right, pack. Go. There you go, a twenty four pack of the, the eight ounces. I put them all in the cooler, and it was like a challenge. I had to drink them all that afternoon. Yeah, because it's it's like okay, it's twenty, just, just twenty four of them. But yeah, they're, but they're only eight ounces. So yeah, that was like, let's see what we can do here, and uh, float around the pool, come back, reach in a cooler, grab another one, float around the pool. It, it, the current of my filter would wash me around the pool, in the time it took to drink one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and pick up the next one. That's perfect. Yeah, you, you, okay, you pick one up, you sit back, 
Okay. By the time you're looping back around. Yeah. Okay. Reach in, grab another one. It worked it open. Perfect. Just just circling around and around. But <laughs> but it's <laughs> Yeah, and this this and this could be a dangerous one here because you have to think. I mean, the pregame is still thirteen point nine percent, right? And you, you're thrown in there with the high life, which I think I think the high life's I think just a five percent. Yeah, I think uh, you're right. Okay, uh, four four point six. Okay, it was it was a little bit lower than uh, I thought. Yeah, at yeah, four point six. So the four point six beer, and then the thirteen point nine for yeah, we logo. Always yeah, it, it's it's close enough to five. I mean, if they're gonna cheap us out here, uh, the <laughs> the thirteen point nine that was fourteen, uh, we'll we'll take yeah. what we can get. Surprisingly, goes down just smooth as silk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, it just gives a little extra of that flavor to it, that little that little cherry taste to it, which which kills the. You don't get as much sour, I think, from the pregame that you do from the can of the USA. Yeah. So it it does kill that sour flavor even more pouring it in here. So that that's a good thing because, like I said, I was never a huge, huge fan of the, the flavor with the USA. I mean, I'm, I've come quite accustomed to it now after drinking it so much, but putting it in here is like the perfect mixture where you guess just get the hint of the cherry with it but whoo i'm trying to think it, it's 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 tastes like i'm trying to think i like i keep thinking it tastes like i'll maybe i'll come across maybe i'll think of what it is but it does give me like a a flavor of something that i just can't pinpoint it, it's good but there's a flavor to it that i'm trying to i mean maybe it is just kind of like the like a somewhat not a lemonade. That's what I put my finger on. It to me, it's like a lemonade. It, I was gonna say more, more like a like a shandy, a, yeah. a shandy type beer. But I've been playing around with it for the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's a good thing you hit me up on this one because I was ready to crack my last bottle, <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, well, okay, I'm I'll be a conservative today." Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was trying to think of something. I was like, okay, we're, we hit October. It's Four loco October now. Yeah, Four loco Fall is in full swing, and I had this, the pregame in the fridge, uh, and I, I was trying to figure out the perfect time to crack it open. And you had been saying that you were trying out these different beers with it, so I was like, all right, let's let's give it a shot. Let's let's do it, and and see how it turns out. And, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good concoction, a pretty good mixture uh, with it. But what I also did bring along just to try out was I didn't have just the USA pregame to try out. And the other one that I got my hands on was the Wicked uh... the Wicked Tea pregame. So figured, you know, why not go all out? Yes. Crack this guy open to give this one a shot because this is the other one that when I did my Four Loco pregame power rankings and when I tried all these during the golf outing last year, you know, at eight o'clock in the morning, yeah. <laughs> we're recording a podcast and I tried all the pregames I had. At the time, this was the only one I couldn't get my hands on. And it's okay. Well, what exactly is a Wicked Tea flavor? You know what? We're we're about to find out. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna crank this open. Give this I, a right shot. My mind is my mind is generating. All right, I can't wait, but I, I'll <laughs> tell you in a second. Ooh, okay, all right. That's an interesting uh smell to it here because you're thinking, oh, is this like a like a like a twisted tea yeah. type flavor to it or, or what? But let's interesting. It's got it's got a nice bum wine smell to it though. It's Ooh. not that. So let, let's let see. All right. Cheers. cheers. I get a iced tea hint. Okay. And then a a cheap booze follow with and it. So it's a winner. I think you, you got you you have to mix it. I think I think you gotta mix this. So now that you it. say that, we've got high life pregame kind of lemonade-ish flavor. Arnold Palmer, maybe. See, pour a little, uh, yes. See, 
Let's see. I'm just going to do a little bit. Just a little bit. First, Let's see just, that color uh, there. just to see if we kind of swirl this. Just swirl. Yeah. How's that look? So, see? So, you're a little, oh, little darker. There we go. A little darker now. All right. So, let's see. All right. Now, that, that's good now. Touchdown. Mm hmm. Yeah, you get you still get that you get it the hint of the tea. Yeah, why it cuts down on that oh. that that flavor with it there. No, de definitely, it's something to play around with. Yes, I think with with all these uh, four flavors. loco fun. Yeah, four loco fun, four loco fall. Uh, get get the get the friends, get the family together. <laughs> and you know, you got your four loco finder. And I've been doing some investigative research in this week, trying to figure out where I was at when I found the pregame. I even, you know, went back through our text messages because normally when we find something new, we're the first ones we message each other, normally in the parking lot where we found it. Mm -hmm. So I went back to the date, which was like August 24th or something like that. And sometimes in my pictures on the iPhone, it will give you a location where the picture was taken. Right, right. No. <laughs> no. It, 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 and I, I'm getting so frustrated because I know it's close. And I mean, how, I mean, it, how, how many, I mean, I know you go to a lot of different places, but it, they can't be too many, though. Uh, but see, you know, I got old timers. That's <laughs> us. And, yeah. And, and um, I don't quite have the brain cells I did 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So I forget things pretty easy. So it's just like, it. I live in a very small town. There's only, hell, 10 gas stations total in the county, you know, and maybe three liquor stores. I hit every single one of them, I guess. Because I know I bought it local. <laughs> it wasn't on my, you know, my route or my daily travels. It was local because the text message I sent you was a new store, new find. So okay. I stopped at some place out of the ordinary in my route or my daily around town. So I guess I just have to figure that out. I'm just getting frustrated. But, you know, when you go to the local finder, the only thing it shows available in pregame is sour blue. Okay, yeah, because I'm I'm looking now, and I th I think they changed it because they used to show you the pregames on here, and now it's only showing me the regular four locos. I don't know if it's just that there's so not right the in the area, maybe third, I don't know. <laughs> there's a drop down. It'll say all flavors, or you can do um, just pregame. Yeah, see, I don't have, I don't have that. They, they I know they used to have pregame in the list here, but at least how I'm looking at it now, it only shows me just the regular four loco flavors. Okay, uh, but I know they did. So may, maybe they switched it up. Maybe they did something different, or there's just none in the area where I am, which which is true. That there was only like two stores at one point that had the, the pregame near me. So maybe it's just not even around here, and that's why I don't even see it at all. <laughs> You know, High Life is just a solid, solid beer. It is. It is. It's, it's, it's one of the classics and still. It's just a full flavored, just uh, like I told you last night, I just fall in love with it every time I open a new one. And it's still cheap. That, that's, yeah. the good, that's the good thing. I was saying I went and I pick up the, the six pack the other day and it was it was six ninety nine. So it's like, all right, that's. Not terrible, but in today's age, it's not bad. It's not not bad. But then I was looking through the cooler too, and like a six pack of Bud, it's like nine forty nine. I'm yeah. like, that, that's crazy. It's like, I mean, it used to be high life a few years ago was like, like six, like five, six bucks for a six pack. Because I know when when I was in college, we would go uh, to like the the twenty four hour Walmart. And they had the like a twelve pack of High Life was like like nine bucks. Yeah, I think. and it was like, oh, this is awesome! You know, pick this up and drink that. Yeah, you, know, you and your buddies go in, scrape up some change, go in together. Mm -hmm. Let me do another glass full of uh, mix here. I think I'm gonna go heavy on it and just pour the rest. <laughs> <of it. laughs> go bigger. Go. Just say go big or go home.
clear it yeah. out. Gives you more reason to go out and search again to try to find more of them. I know, because I've got plenty of blue razz. You know, I've probably got eight eight bottles of pre razz now. Uh, pre res <laughs> <laughs> pre game blue rats <laughs> <laughs> pre res yeah, pre res <laughs> yeah uh, four loco already kicking in cheers that's how they get you every time cheers yeah it's a slow creeper but then uh, if you go back and listen to some of our pods we start out basically sober if you listen to uh, the complete podcast from beginning to end and you can hear the progression. Of the booze kicking in. And yeah, you go back. You listen to that podcast that, that we just did last week. Yeah. With with, with Kevin. Perfect example. And that was like, okay, you're starting off, you know, even. Okay. All right. The, the Four loco, one can of Four loco kicks in. And then a couple beers start kicking in. Yeah. By the end, it, it's, it's, all, it's all downhill at that point. So it was cracking me up, Kevin. You know, he goes back. He's got a podcast also. So on his podcast, he was talking about doing ours. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, so I didn't realize, you know, he's like, oh, the other guy on their roadhouse, he was chugging away. And I felt like I I had to keep up. And it's just maybe I do chug. I don't think I do. I thought I drank normal. I just think maybe I think you're just very thirsty. You're just drinking a little bit faster than everybody else. Yeah, it wasn't essentially chugging it. It's just you. Sometimes yeah. you'll get through your four loco first before everybody else does. So it's, it's and there's nothing wrong with that. That that's how you enjoy it. You do you. <laughs> but I took that very. Uh, it was a respectful compliment to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciated that. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Check out. Yeah, Kevin on his, his one episode. Uh, if you didn't already check out his podcast, Two Guys, One Inch, uh, out there on all your favorite podcast apps, too. And he was recapping his appearance uh, here. And he's like, yeah, man, we were drinking. Didn't realize how drunk it was till it's time to stand up. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it, I swear, it didn't even seem like we were. I thought it was about 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, no, it was a good oh, over. Two hours of, of actual wow. recording time, which which cut down into an hour and forty minutes of a of a podcast. So one of the it's, one of the one of the longer ones recently that you, that, that you know that's a good combo when it goes like that. Yeah, you yeah. Know, we had a uh, we great great time. Oh yeah, yeah. I listened to his podcast that day and uh, checking it out and following his Instagram. Uh, just I hate that we got we all this. We live so far away from each other, and it's just hard not to like want to hang out. I know, <laughs> I know. It's like this is this the closest we can get right here, yeah, right now uh, with with this drinking some of the, you know, little little bottles, big cans of, of highlights. So we got the four local pre games. Now I'm wondering if well, well, four local has been teasing recently with some of their posts the 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 four loco pumpkin spice that they were teasing again which yeah it's funny they posted that the other day and 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 kevin you know sent me the thing he's like do you think this is real i'm like i I highly doubt it's real i I think they posted it last year too or a couple years ago like st patrick's day is shamrock shake yeah that and then they they posted the uh the the ranch uh, the the (laughs) when they posted the (laughs) the four loco ranch flavored one which had the the 14 percent on it still (laughs) that you posted so at least it's 14 (laughs) percent didn't get any response for four loco on that one but (laughs) but the uh but yeah, the the four loco the the social media they've been kind of amping it up again recently. They'll go in like these these waves of where it's like every day there's a four loco post or something. And then they'll go like a couple weeks, yeah. And there's like nothing. <laughs> then they come back. They come back up again. Oh, uh, oh, here something that just popped up on my my feed uh, right now is earlier today. Uh, Miller High Life posted a. Uh, a picture on their Instagram of uh, love is in the high life. I guess there was a couple that just got got married, and I saw it, and then I 
posted naturally on there. You said the the Reverend Bumwine Bob is always available to get you hitched by High Life because yes, I am the the official ordained minister, officiant of the High Life, and the person who got married uh, just uh, responded and said, "Hey, what an amazing offer! We just got married on September third." But when we renew our vows, we're calling you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I'm already committed to that also. So anybody out there, if you're, if you're getting married, you, have, you know people who are getting married, they don't want some big, fancy, traditional wedding. You want to get hitched by the High Life. Like, I have the official vows from Miller High Life here with me. And we could do a, a Miller High Life wedding, sponsored, all that good stuff. I'm sure we can get Miller High Life to really push it if uh if need be because yeah. they 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 do follow me on on twitter after miller high life came very close this past year in the battle of the booze tournament out of the like 86 people they follow well one bob is one of them that's great that's amazing yeah. cheers to them so it's funny i wasn't really offering to you know get these these people married <laughs> I was yeah. just saying, as of an in general thing, saying I'm always available to get you hitched by High Life, and then she took the time and said, "Oh well, we already did it, but when we renew our vows, you'll be the one." So we'll see. Mark, mark this this date, this time, this post, because we'll, we'll come back if it's, if it's ten years from now, or whenever these these people wanted to renew their vows. We'll see if yeah. I get the call to to do it for them. To the, 2027, you know. Uh... That's when we're going to start making plans for our renewal. Okay. And uh, we talked about that in Atlantic City. See, we'll get we get Perfect. the whole crew down the there. The whole crew just roll up in that shithole town and get <laughs> get our vows renewed, have a good time, and leave it in worse shape than we found it. That's it. That's it. See, see who will come out there and join us for it. See if uh, if Lindsay will make the trip out there to. I think I think she offered to be her flower girl, right? I think. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That's yeah. great. I miss talking to those guys. <laughs> Interesting how interactive we still are. Like uh, through different posts, you know, commenting on each other. Like yeah. um, like most guests that you've had, it's um, one and done. No, these guys are currently uh, just totally involved in everything both you and I do at uh, corresponding with what we post and reacting to what we comment and stuff. So, uh, you know, they're definitely part of the crew. I'm ready to check this third one open. Yeah. You got to go searching. If you want the good stuff, you got to go in and you gotta really put in the work, you gotta put in the work. You get out there, get a search in. Yeah. Not a lot of places around here do have, the uh, the big cans here, but not every place, and it's hard to find. I haven't found any forties of high life in a while either. Uh, I would like to find them, but it's it's been a it's been years probably since I've seen a a high life forty. That makes me just think. I wonder if I can get on like our uh, local distributors page and see what is available. Not necessarily what they stock, but what they have access to getting. Uh, I was going to say, well, you, like you had the uh, the one guy you got the the Colt forty five from, yeah. Get the cases of that. And I'm sure, like you said, they'll they could probably special order some of the yeah. uh, the stuff there. And so, I, if if need be, if they can't find it on the web page, I can go straight to the you know the distribution center because it's on it's. Right across the street from one of my stops. Okay. So I could always go in there and see if I can get availability, like a beer list of some sort, or or uh, uh, not just beer list, but they, what what everything they have available. Yeah, everything and that's place, like uh, like everything on the menu that they could get if need be. Put a wish list together. Yeah. Give yeah. it to my guy <laughs> that got my Colt forty five. Have him bring it all in. I go in there and just buy a whole. You know, truckload and take. Yeah, it I was gonna say. I mean, up. they know they know you're good for it. Yeah, uh, you're you're gonna follow through since you picked up all that Colt forty five. He was so he was so happy that he was able to get that for me. 
And I was just like, I, I, the more of the excitement was on my end, but he was genuinely excited that he fulfilled that order. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that he was able to get that for me. And, uh, I, you know, I'd go back here and I support him a whole lot. He's a great guy. Yeah. He's a great, uh, great place to buy it there. Yeah. What about, uh, what about, uh, Mickey's forties? You don't have them. I don't there, have right? those. No, yeah, just yeah. we don't, yeah, we don't, eights. yeah, we don't have the, uh, the Mickey's forties here anymore either. We, they've been gone for a good, probably like five years. They just vanished <laughs> out of nowhere. What, and, Another one I was thinking about that, and it may be discontinued, and um, used to be a lot around here, was private stock. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that one's still around anymore. I've never had it, uh, but I think that might be one that, that got axe. the, I think it got the axe uh, at yeah. some point, yeah. That was a good cheap one, good malt liquor. Uh, it was a really good malt liquor. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I mean, like we said many times, that's sadly that's the way these things are going. That a lot of them, when a few years ago, when when uh, when Molson Coors, you know, cut down a bunch of those those budget brand, you know, beers and malt liquors, it was like it was a sad day to see when they're like, okay, the like I never had uh, Mickey's Ice was one that I that I wanted to have, never had that they got rid of that they got rid of the uh the steel reserve the triple export one mm. which was i mean I, I had it it wasn't anything to write home about but it was just like the the higher abv steel reserve um and then a bunch of the other cheap beers that they got rid of too and it's just it's sad to see and I mean, we, we've gone through this many times before and it's like all the seltzers and drinks like that, yeah. that that took over everything and, and that's what's and, sad is the seltzers are fad you know your fad drinks but these these malt liquors that they've exed have stood the test of time right you, right you know they've, they've been, they've been around for years and years and years King cobra yeah you know it's been around forever and you know Sadly, I can't find it anymore. And and uh, but yeah, all these things that have been around for years. And I found out the the only good thing about the White Claw was this this past weekend. I was at my cousin's for for his birthday, and we were hanging out watching football. And I brought along a can of the the Four Loco, the Warheads, a sour cosmic punch with me. And I brought along as a birthday gift some Four Loco stickers. For some reason, they're like big White Claw fans. Now they're yeah, like like early 30s is where they are. And I guess that's more in that age range. I mean, I still think that's a little bit older for what the White Claw is. I'm thinking them is more of like the just turned 21, yeah. early 20s crew. But for whatever reason, those guys, I don't know, they, they like the White Claws. So I had my, you know, this is a Sunday afternoon. You know, hanging out, and I had my my four loco, which, as we said before, that first four loco gets you that that nice like buzz to get you going. It's like the perfect thing. You're not you're not like wasted. You're not stumbling over. You have that perfect buzz to go through. And then I was looking through the cooler, and I'm like, oh, okay, there's there's a white claw in here. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll I'll give it a shot. I haven't had one yeah. in in a while. And I'm like, all right, it's not terrible. Right. I mean, yes, it's a seltzer with like, I think I had a pineapple one and a lime one. But to kind of keep that buzz moving at a, like a snail pace when, you, when you're not looking to get totally trashed, it, it will work with that, with the four loco. And I think I ended up with three white claws in total after that. Yeah, it was like like a nice kind of like cruise control. Exactly, it's it was a nice Sunday afternoon. Yes, <laughs> buzz. You know, Friday night, Saturday, we can go all out. No, no, you're not going to be picking that up for it. But as a a Sunday afternoon, getting into the evening, it does its job. Yes, it's five percent. It, it has alcohol in it, 
So it will work uh, and get the job done like that. So that's kind of where I found the the sweet spot and the one saving grace for the White Claws. So I, I will give them credit for that. But on a, a better note, uh, people did love the Four Loco stickers and especially the Four Loco Fleshlight sticker that's included <laughs> in, the, in the pack there. Because the one guy that was there was like, like, oh, okay, four loco. He's like, he's like, look, I, I don't know if he said somebody got him this shirt or they sent him a picture of it, but there was a four loco fleshlight T-shirt, like some bootleg thing. It's not officially sponsored by four loco, yeah. But he's like, he's like, look at this T-shirt, and I'm like, look at look at that sticker pack over there. He's like, what? I'm like, look, there's the four loco fleshlight sticker. He's like, oh man, I'm taking this one. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it's the same sticker the one I have on the back of my van. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that gets a lot of uh, a lot of attention. Yeah, and that's that's your conversation starter right there. <laughs> like uh, some of these people, I just want. Well, how do you know about flashlight? That's, right, right. That's, well, yeah, <laughs> that's a stumper right there. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to admit. Like, okay, because they'll just like, okay, well, uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, just uh... that's when the backpedaling starts. Yeah, oh, I was just I was just reading it. I don't know. It, it says it on the thing. Yeah, but do you know what that really is? Uh, uh, <laughs> they do. They know. They know that people know these things. But, uh, it could be somebody's best friend. Uh, you never know. Four Loco is my best friend. The Four Loco and the Miller High Life, a, a winning team right there. Well, we're, we're, definitely for the win. And we're, we're living the... Living the four loco October high life here, I'm bone with Bobcat because this week we're we're not, we're not going for a marathon this week on the podcast. We're just <laughs> we had some new drinks to to crack open here. The loco USA pregame wicked tea, which you'll probably see some more concoctions in the works. That's why I didn't want to drink too much. Yeah, of it because the thing what sucks is that this is the only one I have. And you have to kind of ration it. The same thing with what I had of the, the pregame without having it readily available. You can't go through it and, and not be able to restock it. So, And that's the big difference between you and I. You have the ability to hold back and sit <laughs> on some a little bit. And I have the ability to say, well, oh, fuck it. I'll find some more later. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out at some point. It will show up eventually, right? It might. Yeah, it might it be a week. Me in the ass. It might be a week. It might be a month. It might be a year from now. But but eventually, it, it might show up again. But yeah. But, but yeah. But def- definitely, I think the the original concoction we we mixed up the Miller High Life with the Four Loco pregame, the Loco USA, definitely winning combination. And as Roadhouse said before, he's been putting the Loco USA pregame in a bunch of different beers. Miller Lite, Coors Light uh, is kind of one of those I think fits well with gives you that sort of a shandy type taste to it. So even though we are out of the the summertime season where you think of those those shandy beers, it could be a nice little way to spend your Four Loco fall and make you think and dream of those warmer summer months and waiting for next year yeah. for the for As the pool to be the pool to be back the open again <laughs> for loco pumpkin spice to release for the season <laughs> yeah. uh, we can always just you know kind of make our own concoctions yeah you want to throw that you can throw that in your pumpkin beer see, yeah. see what happens you know, there's oh your... shit yeah <laughs> uh just big loco, get it off your shoulders. Get that pumpkin spice out there on the shelves. 14%, please. Yeah, yeah for, if, if they really come through with it, that'll be interesting because I, I don't think so. I, I think if they that's got just... on the seasonal train, the limited edition train, I think it would be a great move for them. You know, yeah. limit, if you just put the words limited edition on it, you don't have no problem getting rid of all of it. Yeah. Hey, yeah I don't. Yeah, if they, if they, they did that with the four loco hemp. I mean, if, oh. if they if they could do that, I mean, if they went as far as to do that, I think <laughs> and that was the that was the limited edition four twenty flavor and <laughs> the pumpkin spice for 
October and fall, um, some kind of peppermint <laughs> something for <laughs> Christmas. Not eggnog, but peppermint <laughs> yeah. something. And then, you know, the shamrock shake one. I mean, all these sound really good. Ham, no. But yeah, yeah. How, how that I, actually made it out, I don't know how. I mean, I had that. And, and, I'm lucky and that I didn't was, try it. It was, uh, I didn't want to try it. I, I did it just for the sake of the trying it. But it was whew. for research. Yeah. 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 It was all for science there. You know, it is a cult following for sure. You got your loyalist. And uh, I think we're leading the pack on the loyalist side anyway. I mean, we're, we're doing our best to. And as much as we think we should be getting a little more love from Four Loco, I mean, that would be nice that we're out here really pushing this stuff every single week. Yeah. Since the, the sponsorship came out in June, it's like all, all summer, fall, it's been like nonstop for Loco. So I mean, we're we, looking. We're for... pushing a brand really hard. Uh, we're putting it out there, bringing light to all the situations, um, showing people Oof. it's not just uh, cheap drink in a can. There's ways of making it, uh, uh, what's the word, bougie. <laughs> You you can do stuff with it. I mean, it's like yeah, cooking, it's cooking with four loco. Cooking with four loco. You want to you know, do that? I'm still little, yet to try the mac and little, cheese. Yeah, but the mac and cheese, little four loco, four loco chili. You know, just you just pour a little uh, in there. I mean, yeah. So listen, you do you ever uh, do baby back ribs in a crock pot? I, I have. Yes. There's what you can do with that wicked tea. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, see, I like doing baby back ribs with like Dr Pepper. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Or cherry coke or mm-hmm. something, but a wicked tea in there may, you know, uh, might be a winner. It might be I was gonna say to maybe some some recipes this uh, <laughs> this fall this winter, you know, work on. <laughs> we As we said after we said last time after doing now. like yeah, I was gonna say after. Like saying, okay, doing like it in the the smoker, you know, some like like rib sauce <laughs> with with yeah. it, yeah, yeah, and, and all that, so that all that stuff. So we'll see. I mean, I I did, man. I had chili. Was it last week and a weekend before when I cracked open the fruit punch for loco, and I I took a picture with it. I didn't put the chi- the four loco in the chili, but I did drink the chili while I was eating the uh, no, I drank the four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what happens, man. That loco gets you. Yeah. Uh, so I was, I was, as I was saying, <laughs> I was eating the chili while drinking the four loco. So why not put the the four loco in the chili? Because something like that, I mean, it's gonna you're gonna let it you're gonna pour it you're gonna let it simmer a bit. It's it's gonna burn off you know most of the the flavor with it but it'll still give you that little tiny hint yes of it in there you know there's days and in you know the days because i reach out to you my my juices start flowing i start thinking of different things and i start just throwing them at you all these ideas i come up with because i want you to remember them because i'm not going to <laughs> um that hasn't and, and, happened and, and if you while. and if you text them it will It'll be there in. It'll be in, in the, there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times it happens while I'm driving, so I'll do voice to text. But in the most part, we can decipher how bad it fucks it up, you yeah. know. But we can figure out what we're talking about. But just now, when you were talking about the smoker, you know, you make your base, uh, whatever you're going to cover your meat, you're smoking. But what about the tray that we fill with water? To keep the moisture up in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Fill that up with like a four logo gold or something like mm, that. Okay, I Have never that. thought of that. Yeah, because then you're you're constantly getting the the, the yes. steam from it is coming up there into steam it. So it's infused. just that little bit of infusing it. So into the meat, yes, four so loco infused. Four loco infused meats. That right there is the the wave of the future. So big loco. We got Be you on the lookout for uh, Bumwine Bob and Roadhouse Cooking Channel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we may, you know, have to start that up. I might have to invest in some cameras and set up yeah, a yeah. cooking studio. That's it, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, start filming this stuff, and then we just tie it all in together. Ooh. 
All right. Jeez. We got it's the ideas. That's it. That's it. Well, on, on we, that note. We yeah. officially hit the fifth logo. <laughs> that, when that's, our mind starts see, working see, like this. See? We hit mind the blown. fifth. Yeah, you hit the fifth right there. Mixing the four loco, the Miller High Life, the concoction, which I guess we didn't really give it a an official name to it yet. Listen, I don't know. All right, well, I, I think we'll we'll think it over. We'll come up with a a name for the concoction. Yeah. Like we you know, we had the the four loco in the forty was the the pre given name of the the sidewalk slammer that that we had already had. So we'll we'll think of something to come up with. Anybody out there listening too? If we don't come up with one before, yeah, you hear we this. Take, we take everything. We will take suggestions out there. What you think would be mixing the the four loco pre game with your favorite beer, and you at home too. You know, it doesn't have to be a high life. Doesn't have to be a Coors Light, Miller Light. You pick any beer you want. Pick up your favorite flavor of pregame that's out there, where whatever you can get your hands on, and and give it a shot. Give it give it a try. What do you have to lose? Even the the pregames, I know when I pick them up. I mean, they're they're pretty cheap. I mean, they're like I think three bucks or some, something like that. They're they're not very expensive. It doesn't matter what they cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get out there, get searching, as we say all the time. Hit the streets, hit that bottom shelf, look for the good stuff, the the best of the worst and cheap booze that we have covered for you here on Bone with Bobcat all the time. We have it set up there for you. Roadhouse, anything else you want to say before we, we sign I off got- here? I'm, I'm I'm clueless from at this point. I'm in the fifth. <laughs> he's, he's in the I fifth. Plead the fifth. I'm in the plead fifth. the fifth. See? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, rate, review, Bone with Bob, Ken, and all your favorite podcast apps. Check out the website at bonewinebob.com. And please, t- tell your friends about us. Uh, share. <laughs> it's free. It's free. I always it's free say, to share. That's what I say. It's, it's free. The podcast is free. We're not charging you to listen to it. You just hit that play button. You like it. Great. Join us. If you don't like it, let us know what no, you think. No we harm, no foul. Guys. No harm, no we... foul. Uh, if it's not your cup of tea, no worries. I know the, <laughs> the the bottom shelf isn't for everybody. But if you are one of us, the door is always open. Come on down. Hang out with us. You want to be on the podcast. You want to be on the website. Yeah. You're listening. You want to advertise promote stuff let us know we're always happy to have you here on the podcast so so grab your four locos grab your miller high life grab your drinks of choice tell your friends to check out the podcast on premier podcast network and until next time cheers cheers i need a beer